By utilizing a progress bar and a checkbox, you can develop a task tracking tool in the following way. First of all, let's introduce a checkbox here. Let's click on C4 and go to Developer tab. If this Developer tab is not available, you can make it visible by going right-click anywhere on the ribbon here. Customize the ribbon and make sure that the check on the developer is turned on like this. Once that's done, this will be visible. Click on Insert, Form Control, and there's a checkbox there. We don't want ActiveX. We're going to use Form Control. Click on it and place the checkbox somewhere near C4 like this. Then reposition it nicely so it's somewhere in the middle of cell C4 and right click on it, edit text and press delete on your keyboard a few times so they can get rid of the text next to the next to the uh, checkbox here. And after that, click on anywhere on the cell and the description next to the checkbox is gone. Now you have to associate this checkbox to the cell C4. Right click on the checkbox here like this and from the context menu, you're going to select format control in here you want to click on the controls tab and on the cell link you click on it you're gonna click on C4 like this and it should come up like that and click OK now what, what you did with that um, cell link is that when you click on this you can see the true and false uh, populating on cell C4 but we don't want to see the the, the text true and for, false I guess uh, so you're gonna have to change the font color to white go to home font and then click on white here and it's gone when you click on it those text doesn't appear. Now you're gonna have to propagate the characteristic of C4 all the way down to C13 this way. Click on it and drag it. But there's one thing you haven't done yet. You can click right click on this guy and go format control. You can see that every one of the checkbox is still associated with C4. When you click on this guy here, you can see everything goes on and off. So you gotta make it individual. Right click on a checkbox, format control, and then you go uh, controls and in cell link you're gonna have to select each individual cell like this I'm gonna fast forward here once the checkbox are ready let's click on B2 to add the progress bar enter the following formula and you can see it comes up with number one. So if you remove the checkbox, you can see that it goes in fraction. Let's change this into percentage by holding Control Shift percent. Now it shows in percentage. So you're gonna click on this guy here, go formatting, data bar, and then after that you got more rules. In here, you're gonna change the minimum to number and the maximum to number. And make sure that the minimum is zero to indicate false and the maximum is 1 to indicate true. I'm going to make this into a gradient field so it's nice looking gradient and you can select any color you want. And then click OK. And you can now see the progress bar. So if you remove the checkbox, you can see that the progress bar changes accordingly. And if you add more checkbox, the progress bar changes accordingly as well.